What is up guys? This is Godlike Man. Today I'm going to be showing you a really neat trick how to get a really good weapon, very powerful weapon, the Whirligig Saw, uh, which is a DLC exclusive weapon, very early in the game. You can get this weapon near the beginning of the game. Uh, the minimum requirement you've had to have done in order to do this, and it's the most important part of being able to get this weapon, is having defeated Vicar Emelian. As you can see this item in my inventory right here, the Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter, um, that item will appear in the Hunter's Dream after defeating Vicar Emelia, assuming you've bought in the old Hunter's DLC, is assuming you've purchased it. Once you have that item, uh, what you're going to want to do is come right here, uh, outside the Cathedral Ward, and have the Amygdala grab you. And as long as you have the Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter, the Amygdala won't kill you. He'll just teleport you to the DLC. And as long as you see this cutscene right here, uh, you'll know you've done everything correctly. But in case you need a reminder, Vicar Amelia is the uh, wolf reindeer goat thing. You know, the, she's... Uh, it's recommended that she you fight her immediately after uh, Father G. I call him Father G because I can't pronounce his name. The second boss in the game. The one who gets affected by the uh, the music box. Yeah, the boss after him is supposed to be Vicar Amelia. You don't have to fight her next. You could fight the Bloodstarved Beast, technically, because the order of everything you do in this game is pretty much up to you. But Vicar Amelia is definitely the easier boss when compared to the Bloodstarved Beast. And it is the game kind of expects you to fight her next. So technically, she's the third boss in the game. But yeah, once you do all that, once you've defeated Vicar Amelia, you've gotten the Eye of the Blood Drunk Hunter, which you get from the Hunter's Dream, get grabbed by the Amygdala, uh, the Amygdala will teleport you to this identical area to the Cathedral Ward and Vicar Amelia's level. It uh, looks very similar. But yeah, so I'm going to show you, pay attention, exactly how to run to this weapon uh, with as least resistance as possible. Now, obviously, this is going to be difficult. I died a shitload of times attempting this. This, what you're seeing right now, is not my first attempt. But you're going to want to path exactly the way I am. It's, believe it or not, it's actually really important which directions you take. It's important that you mimic exactly the way the paths I'm taking and the direction I'm going because uh, this is the path of least resistance. Um, there are certain ways you can go to reach the same area, but there's enemies in those directions and there's, you're more likely to get hit, and, you know, um, once you get to this area, which is, uh, the first real challenge, I suppose, because these guns will one-shot you this early in the game, I'm only, like, soul level 20-something, um, it's very important to time your, 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 uh, rolling correctly, and this is the big major problem, this spot right here. Uh, because there's tons of dudes in front of the door. You want to kind of pull them all out of the way, have them all come running at you to attack you, and that way they'll all move out of the way of the door so you don't get stuck. Because if you just were to fully run straight on at the door, not giving them time to come at you, they would all clutter the door and you wouldn't be able to get through. You also want to be very careful here not to get stunlocked by these, these dudes' guns. Um... Again, you have to time your rolls really well. Uh, you can't just spam rolling and expect to not get hit. You actually have to time the rolls correctly with, in accordance with their attacks. And uh, as you can see, I'm going for the shortcut in this level. This is very important because you will more likely, often, more often than not, die attempting this. So it's very important you get that shortcut because uh, as you, you guys, I, you're going to see a quick little transition here. Um, of, uh, yeah, there we go. So, uh, I actually died and I cut it out, but, yeah, so, uh, the shortcut came in real handy, because I didn't think I was gonna die, and since I opened the shortcut, I can get back here really quickly, so it's very helpful, and I recommend doing it. But, uh, what you're gonna wanna do after that is just head through here and ignore all the enemies. You're gonna come up to a ladder, and you have to go up this ladder, but it is surrounded by enemies. Um, and you just want to climb it as fast as possible. If you do it fast enough, they won't kill you in time. They'll come close, but you should survive. And I know it sounds really risky, and as you can see, I've just barely lived. But it is possible. 
like I said, I'm only soul level 20 something. Like this is very early in the game. Uh, I've o I only just killed the Bloodstar Beast, and uh, I'm already attempting to get this weapon because I knew it would be possible. So, you know, and it's the Whirly Gig Saw is a fantastic weapon. You also want to be really careful of this guy because he's got a huge cannon. He actually hits me, but it didn't matter that much. And uh, once you get here, you're pretty much in the clear because there's a lantern right next to this area which you can teleport to at any time, which is really nice. And you're pretty much in the clear from here because if you were to die from this point forward, you could just teleport right here. So it's pretty sweet. And uh, I actually take a few moments to kill this gremlin. It takes forever because this gremlin has a shitload of health because I'm not supposed to be in this area. This area is way more difficult than my soul level right now so that being said the enemies are very powerful they're hard to kill they deal a lot of damage and this gremlin is fucking deezed so <laughs> but i did it anyway because i wanted the goddamn materials and he dropped blood chunks which are gonna be pretty nice i got those so early way earlier than i you know am supposed to get them so those are gonna be extremely helpful and the whirly gig saw is just up ahead uh right after this extremely random in-game event I, if anyone knows what the hell this is for, please let me know because I'd be very interested. I'm, I've always wondered why the fuck that happens and what it's even for. But here we are! The item, the Whirly Gig Saw, this is what we came for, and bam, that's how you get it extremely early. Now again, you're good, you're probably gonna die a lot, and you, make sure you go into this with a lot of health vials, because you're probably gonna need them. And make sure you have no money on you or a small amount of money that you don't care about on you because if you're probably going to lose it. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. That's how you get the Whirly Gig Saw really early. Thank you guys for watching. It's a fantastic weapon. It has an S scaling on strength, so it's very powerful. And uh, those uh, blood chunks and all the different blood shards I got uh, from just from running through the level and looting some bodies here and there is going to enable me to upgrade it way more than I should be able to at this point in the game. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped. And if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and subscribe. I got an in-depth walkthrough on Bloodborne going right now, so check that out. And uh, I will definitely see you guys in my next video, so take care.